Hi guys, it's your girl AP and I want to welcome you back to my channel. And I want to apologize for being ghosted last week, but I've been super busy promoting Cute Customs, my brand, practicing my craft, getting a lot of new items out there for my customers, and just, you know, focusing on work because I'm a full-time teacher. So crafting is my passion and it's something I wish I could do every day, but... I can't, so it gets my weekends and sometimes my late nights. But today, I'm so excited about this tutorial that I have planned for you. I'm not using my Cricut. I'm not using any vinyl, okay? I will be using my cinch machine. This thing that was sticking up the whole time while I was talking. My cinch machine, okay? And what the cinch machine is, ladies and gents, it's a binding machine, okay? So it helps you bind, um, you know, a lot of paper at a time. Um, it also helps you coil your notebooks or notepads if you want to create that. And that's what I'm going to be creating today. We, I'm going to be teaching you how to create your own notebook at home as long as you have a Finch machine, okay? And I was lucky, lucky, lucky girl and was gifted this Finch machine um, from a good friend at work and out for Secret Santa. And I was so excited to get it. And I just couldn't wait to get started. And I've created a number of things including a planner that I'm going to show you that I created using my cinch, I mean, not using my cinch machine. Oh yeah, using my cinch machine. I forgot I used my cinch machine on that. I'm going to show you that planner and I can't wait. So if you want to learn how to um, you, um create your own notebook, I'm sorry, I'm so excited. Create your own notebook. Stay tuned for this video. Hey guys, I'm back. And I told you that I wanted to show you a planner that I created using my cinch machine. I didn't print the planner at home because it's a 50 page planner. One of my, this was my first planner that I did and I didn't want to waste my ink, okay? So I went to Staples and I got it printed for about, it wasn't cheap, okay? And I'm not saying it was expensive, but it wasn't cheap for paper and ink, but I know ink isn't cheap. And I didn't want it on any flimsy paper. I wanted it on premium paper. You know, like premium brochure paper, sturdy paper, something, a paper that can last, you know what I mean? So I paid a little extra and I think to print it was like $27 to print all 50 pages in full color and on premium paper. Um, but I was extremely happy with um, how it came out. And I did the binding at whole punching and binding at home. Um, and this is the cover. Yes, I love my planner, guys. This is the cover. Can you see that? Okay. Then, um, let me open it. Then it opens up. This is the inside cover this planner belongs to. I love these. I'm going to be using an image like this similar for today's tutorial. Okay. Then it goes into the planner. Okay. Um, and it also has my favorite section of the... So it's, it's just not a um, planner. It's also a journal. And I named that section Personal Reflections. And then it goes into the lines. And it's about a good 25 to 30 pages of lines just for journaling. And then the end. So I'm going to be showing you how you create your own, um, not planner today, but notebook, okay? And this is good, the image we're going to be using today for today's notebook okay I created this in Canva and I also created my whole planner in Canva as well so this is the notebook cover it says be savage not average okay and I use premium cardstock for this I, it's pretty um light and I usually would glue it down hot glue it down to a chipboard but I'm not gonna do that for the sake of the video because I'm teaching you how to actually um, use the machine okay so let's get into using the machine oh and what you're gonna need I'm sorry you're also gonna need some line paper without the holes guys I got I think like 500 sheets or more I think even more for like eight bucks from Amazon so you're gonna need this kind of paper without holes um, you're gonna need your coil or your bind coil whatever you're gonna use I forget what, what size this is, but when I sh when I show you the, how to use a cinch, you can determine what size works best for the notebook or planner you are creating, okay? So you're gonna need this and of course scissors, okay? So let's get it right into it. The cinch machine is pretty much an easy machine to operate. 
it gives you um, tons of directions right here on the actual machine. So reading is fundamentals, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so if you pretty much read what it has up there for you, it's a super simple machine to operate, okay? So my camera angle isn't the best, but we're going to get through this video. So this is the cinch machine that has pegs 1 through 12, and these are the hole punching pegs, okay? This is the ruler for the sizing of the paper. For longer paper, you stretch it out, okay? And I'm going to show you how you do the bot the the bottom the bottom first and then you want to punch the top, okay? So the directions right here just says um it says number 1, punch. Number 2, bind and number 3, cinch. Now, the punching um is it, it goes by the inches. So if you're your um, book is 12 inches, you want to pull um, 8 by 12, you want to pull peg 12. If it's 8 by 11, you want to pull peg 10. And that is just to prevent it from any um, extra holes at the top that you're not going to use. And I'm going to show you because I messed up on one of them. You see how I punched that extra hole at the top? That's what these pegs are being pulled so we will prevent that. So let's get right into it. You want to make sure your paper is hitting the back of the cinch where you hear it hit up against it, okay? But before that, you want to make sure you have a straight edge or something pointy that's flat that can get up in there and make sure there's nothing blocking the um, holes. Because I do punch a lot, so sometimes it's back the paper in like any other hole puncher, okay? So the camera's going to shake a lot, but once it's lined up, okay, you want to make sure all your pegs are pushed in. And you want to push down okay once you push down as you can see the holes perfectly came in all right now we do start with the bottom now i'm going to push it all the way out because my paper is 8 by 11 and i'm going to show you how i'm going to follow the directions that's simple it's so simple if you read it, man. i'm telling you i messed up a couple of times because i was just so excited to use it and didn't even read. So I'm going to turn it around so you can see a special feature that the cinch has to help you to punch the perfect holes. This lever right here, um, when you're getting ready to do your top, has a whole um, uh, lever that you push down into the hole to secure that you are in the right area. So now that my latch went through a hole, I know I'm lined up correctly. If this latch does not go through this hole, your paper is not lined up correctly. So this is the magical latch. That's what I call it. It helps me keep my holes aligned, guys. Okay? Once that's lined up, my paper's 8 by 11. And my direction says when if your paper's 11 inches, you want to pull peg 10. So we don't have that ugly half a hole up top. So I'm pulling out peg 10. Okay? Go down. Pull up. Don't forget to pull this lever up because I have forgotten to pull this lever up and ripped my hole and just messed up my whole cover. I was so upset. Lift it up, slide it out, okay? All right? And that's pretty much how you work this in. So our cover is nice and um, the holes are punched pretty, okay? Now I'm gonna show you um, just how to do a couple of sheets of loose leaf paper and then I'm going to show you how to coil. All right, so now that um, you've seen, don't forget when you're starting a new project to always push your peg back in because this is only when we're doing the top, we pull that peg out. So I got some sheets of loose leaf and my camera's gonna shake a lot guys cause you know, I'm using one of these things you attach on to the table and I'm, I'm cinching on the actual table that the camera's attached on. So that's why I shake and I apologize. I forgot the golden rule. Always go back in with a straight edge and make sure it's nothing blocking so your holes are not messed up from the get go. Cause it'll mess up honey. All right, so make sure your paper's pushed in and aligned. You can start with as much as you want or as little as you want. This one's gonna take a little more elbow grease cause I put in a lot of paper. Pull it up. Guess what? Yank it out. Not yank it out. I'm sorry. Don't yank it out. Don't listen to me, John. Don't yank it out, y'all. <laughs> don't yank it out. There go your holes, okay? I'm going to split this up because that was a lot for my little elbows, y'all. 
My little elbow is going through it now. All right, pull your rope, ruler down. Okay, once you pull your ruler down, line your paper up. What's that latch call? Somebody, I wish y'all could um, yell back at me. I need to start doing my tutorials on live, even though I don't get no live viewers, so y'all can talk back to me. So I know if y'all learning or not, because I'm telling y'all, y'all gonna save money with y'all cheering. <laughs> y'all know I'm country on the inside. All right, here we go. Magical latch, turn it around so y'all can remember. Cool. All right, I gotta pause it real quick. I'll be right back, guys. Back, all right, now magical latch. You wanna make sure your paper is lined up. I'm gonna go back in there with my straight edge because I wanna make sure nothing's blocking me from my line, um, my holes being punched correctly. So go back in there, put your paper, slide it in. Slide it till it's hitting the bottom of the ruler and the back of the cricket. Bottom of the ruler, back of the cricket. Okay? Push the latch down. Latches in. All right? Push it down. Okay, lift it up. Next step, who remembers? Magical latch. You don't want to rip your holes. All right? Pull it out. Up oh, and you know what I forgot, guys? I forgot to pull peg 10. See? I forgot to pull peg 10, see? But it, it goes to show you, everybody makes mistakes, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and finish punching the rest of the holes um, in the loose leaf paper, and I'll be back to show you how I bind, all right? Be right back. All right, guys, I'm back, and I was able to hole punch all of the paper. As you can see, nice and straight. So we can get ready and create our notebook. So I forgot to also mention that for the back of the notebook, I use chipboard. And I already um have pre-punched the chipboard before I started the video. So I use chipboard and I got this from Amazon, but I use white chipboard because I don't like how this look on the back. It's not cute. But the white is, you know, simple and subtle. So we're going to use white chipboard for the back. So here's what we're going to do. Now, the cinch gives us this handy dandy side right here to hang up the coils, you hang up the coils like so, okay? Let me sit it down and then um, fix the camera so you guys can see how you hang up the coils, okay? So, you hang up the, um, the coils onto the cinch. They have these little latches that you hang on the actual cinch machine. I don't like this. This is the part that I don't agree with with the cinch, okay? So I'm gonna show you, if you wanted to do it this way, I'm just gonna show you how you would do it because this way is not the way for me. Like, this way sucks to me. No, no shade to the cinch because I do enjoy the cinch, but it just pops off as you can see. I'm gonna put the cinch away for this segment of the video, but it will be back for the actual um, closure of the binding, okay? So I'm gonna show you how I um, put my paper on. Sorry, but this is all the hole punches, my little one of my little crafting tables. I'm gonna show you how I put the actual paper and chipboard on just by hand, okay? So I start at the bottom. And I'm gonna start at the bottom. Take the pointier side and kind of just put them through. Just kind of put them through like this. And kind of if sometimes it's not lined up, make it line. Make your holes line up with the, um, because these are, things are really bendy and um, flexible. So you can almost push them to the position you want them in. As you can see, I'm pushing my position, I'm pushing my um coils into the position I want them in so I can have a smooth, so they can glide right through the holes, okay? So I got it, I got it through the top. This way is way easier for me guys than the machine. And I know some people might disagree, but this way is easier for me. So now that you push it in, push your, push your coils in because now you're gonna have to put the paper on, okay? Take, take paper a little at a time. I do a little at a time because and like you did the chipboard, just start from the bottom. Started from the bottom, now we're here, okay? <laughs> That's all we do. 
That's all I do. And don't worry about the extra, um, the access coils. I'm going to show you what we do with those at the end. Don't worry about those. If they're in your way, kind of push them off to the side like that. But don't worry about them. A little at a time. Start off with some more, a little more. And this is probably um 150 pages. I didn't sit out and count how many pages this is. I just kind of just um took some pages, a handful, you know, a couple handfuls of pages and kind of um put them on. So I just got some paper. A hole that would Okay, slide. Now you're going to slide it from the bottom. Sorry, guys. I had some holes that wasn't all the way out. And one of my coils is acting frayed. But there you go. Slide it on. Okay. See, I was sliding on so easy. See, this way is way more easier for me. I know people be like, girl, why are you not using your cinch for this? Because the cinch is like, it just, the coils just keep popping off. So this way for me, um, now, I'm telling you, this is the way not may, may not work for everybody. But I'm just giving you another way just in case the cinch is not working for you in that aspect. In every other aspect, that thing is on the money. I love my cinch. Just got to work on that coiling part. So if y'all hear me, we are memory keepers. We got to work on the coiling. All right. So now that you have your notebook, it might be some... I'm about to just... Take this top sheet off. This top sheet keeps looking off if I can't get it on. All right. All right, there it is. So I have it on now. Here go my my chipboard and my notebook paper. It's about 150 sheets. Probably even more. I don't even know. Probably about 150 sheets in this notebook. All right. Go ahead and put it on my cover. I usually laminate my covers, but for the um, video purpose, I'm not going to laminate it. Okay, so now you see how we got our coils in, our notebook. Okay, we got our coils in. You see that? Cover in, paper in. It looks good. All right, now. Now we have to bring back our cinch machine for the binding, for the closure. Okay, so the cinch machine not only punches holes, not only has this aspect to help you coil, but it also helps you bind in the closure of it okay so let's see so how you work that part is you see this part when you push it down how it closes it kind of closes up the the coils for you so you want to i start at the bottom i always start at the bottom and push it down on the coils okay and once you push it down it will have been Close, look, close. All right, and just work your swell stuff up. And now what I forgot to tell you, let's go ahead, if you got wire cutters or scissors, go ahead and cut off that extra wire at the top. I got some scissors. The scissors should work. Scissors should work. Yeah, you see, scissors work. Now, you see how it's jagged? You could go ahead and push that inside the notebook as well. So when it gets coy, when it's coy, it won't be sticking out. So you don't gotta worry about any accidents if you're making a notebook for a child, okay? Now let's go back to the binding. Push it down, okay? There it is, it closed it. Now let's close the top up. Now, if you feel like your notebook isn't binded enough because you see how mine is still sticking at the top just go over it one more time maybe flip it on the back side or push your coils in more throughout the top so when it does bind okay all right now i'm gonna go ahead and then with hand and just close them up just close them up Okay, and let's see the finishing touches of our notebook that we've created. So if you follow my steps, you would have had a finished notebook, finished and bind. Now, if it's kind of tight, don't worry about it being tight. Okay, it'll loosen up. It's a new binded notebook. Okay, so you would have created your very first notebook. 
Okay, I want to see your notebooks. If you follow my steps, you have created your own notebook. And if your coils feel tight, play with them. Loosen them up. Just loosen them up. Okay? Just loosen up your coils like this. Okay, as you can see, the notebook is binded. All right? Cover. Pages. All right, tell me what you guys think.